Is fly fishing expensive? That's a great question. And the answer is coming up on this episode of Fly Fish University TV. Good morning and welcome back to this episode of Q&A Friday. My name is Jordan Ulrich, I'm your host, and if you're new here, I just wanna say thank you, I wanna say welcome. I want you to know that if fly fishing is hard or you want it to be easier, then you're in the right place. I think you're absolutely in the best place that you could be. Now, before we get started, two things I wanna mention. The first thing is that on March 23rd, 24th, 25th, we have a free fly fishing accelerator workshop coming up. It's a virtual event, it's gonna be live, I'm going to be teaching it. I'm very, very excited about it, and I would love if you would join me there. You can go to flyfishuniversity.com forward slash accelerator. We are at about, my math was not my strong suit, but we're at about 75% capacity right now. So I'm sure that we are going to fill capacity before the event starts, but I would love to have you there. Again, you can go to flyfishuniversity.com forward slash accelerator. I'm so excited. Night one, we're gonna be dialing in your equipment. Night two, we are gonna be talking all about choosing flies that actually catch fish and understanding why, not just what are you tying on, why are you tying it on? And the third and final night, I'm going to give you 21 actionable tips, strategies, things that help me immensely on the water for 2021 to make it the best year you've ever had in fly fishing, even if, and especially if it's the first one. Second thing, we are changing Q&A Friday. I know that's a deadly thing to think about, but you know, we always answer, we being myself, always answer three questions each and every week. And I feel like I kind of burned through them a little bit. And I thought, you know what? What if we just slowed things down a little bit? Doesn't mean we don't have a load of questions to answer, but what if we slowed things down a bit? Took one question, but really, really dug deep on it, really went into the trenches on one question rather than just kind of skimming over three different ones. So I apologize if you had really gotten used to the three question algorithm, but time for change. So today's question comes from Michelle in Burnaby, British Columbia. And Michelle says, my boyfriend started getting into fly fishing last year. He is completely obsessed with it now. I've thought about getting into it myself, but I just don't know if I have the money. Is fly fishing expensive? Thank you so much and thank you for your podcast. Okay, Michelle, thank you so much for your question. And this is the second question from Michelle, not the same Michelle. This is the second Michelle we've had on Q&A Friday. So I just want you to, to know that Michelle's a great name because it's my sister's name. And even though that's totally irrelevant, that's an awesome question because fly fishing is deemed as as an expensive sport, right? But you gotta look at the word first things first. You gotta look at the word expensive. What does the word expensive mean? It's a very relative term, okay? It's like saying, how long is a piece of string? And it's like, well, <laughs> it's a pretty broad based question because everybody has a different definition of what expensive means. So it's hard for me to answer your question based on your perspective of what expensive would mean, but I'm gonna give you my opinion on how much fly fishing costs, okay, and what is the return on investment. Now, I have spent, <laughs> sorry, I have spent, um, well, a few dollars in the fly fishing industry. I've made plenty of dollars in fly fishing in the last 10 years of my career, but I have spent tens of thousands. I've, I've spent more than that. I've spent a lot, okay? I have a lot of equipment. Now some equipment has been given to me, some equipment I've been lucky to get at discounted rates, but I have definitely spent my fair share on fly fishing trips, equipment, oh my God, 10 thousands of dollars. Now when I think about it, we're way, way over that, but we're not even gonna get into that. That's not important, that's not what your question asked. My point of view is that Fly fishing is giving you a return on your investment, not in the form of money, like you are putting it into a stock or option or real estate where you're going to get a financial return. For me, what you're getting on a return in your time or money invested is you're actually gaining an experience. So when I invest, okay, I don't look at it as like spending $100 in gas to go fishing for a day. I look at it as investing 
$100 into the day that I'm about to spend doing something that I love to do. Okay, but going to the dollar figure amount, okay, how much does fly fishing actually cost if you were to boil it down? Well, I can't give you an actual checklist, but I'm gonna tell you right now that fly fishing has never been more easily accessible. If we're looking at a dollars and cents from a dollars and cents point of view, if we're looking at equipment, right, you can get amazing fly fishing equipment now for an incredible, <laughs> incredible price in comparison to what it would have cost you 10 years ago, per se. The technology has just advanced at such an incredible pace that you can get a rod now that might cost you $300 that might have cost you, the technology might have been $700 technology years ago, right? So you can get a really, really great setup for not a lot of money. You can get at least what you need to get started, right? Even waders, you can get a pair of waders for a great price. You can get, you know, rod reel line setup. What I would say is, and this is a mistake that I see so, 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 I'm gonna say so, four times so <laughs> often in fly fishing is people spend way too much money on equipment before they spend a dollar on their own education before they spend a dollar on a guided trip an online course hint no i'm just kidding uh, they they don't spend any money on learning right so they spend all this money on equipment all this money on flies and they waste 80 percent of it because they're buying stuff that they don't need they're buying stuff that's not its not even applicable to the type of fishing that they're doing, right? So people will spend thousands of dollars on equipment, but they still are having a hard time casting 40 feet, right? They'll spend, they'll go fishing 20 times in a year and they'll spend an average of one to $300 per trip, okay? Let's just use this as an example, okay? They end up frustrated at the end of each trip because they're like, God, I wish I knew what I was doing. This is so frustrating. I've spent all the money on the boat, the rod, the setup, lines, leaders, tippets, flies, anchors, ropes, motors, but they're still getting the same result because they're doing the same thing over and over and over. So what gets expensive is going fishing without knowing what you're doing because then you fall into this trap of thinking, well, I must just need some more gear, right? Must just need another rod. Oh. I must not have an expensive enough pair of waders or all of these things that we tell ourselves we need more this when all we need to do is upgrade our skill set. Okay. So again, invest the money. Okay. First thing I would say is invest the money in a local specialty shop. Okay. Not just because I love supporting small business, but when you go there, they are vested in, they have a vested interest in your success. It's different than going to a big box store where anybody can walk in off the street and get hired. When I started in the fly fishing industry, my first job when I was 17 years old was working at a specialty store. And something that I that I learned working at this store was that this is not just a job that anybody could walk in and do because there's a lot of things that you have to be knowledgeable about. You have to have a lot of product knowledge. Okay, but these small businesses, they want to keep you coming back as a customer. So they're going to serve you, I would hope, to the best of their capacity, right? They're, they're going to do their absolute best in making fly fishing the best experience possible for you. Okay, so they're also going to give you the equipment. They're going to give you the knowledge and equipment that you need. They're going to sell you flies you're actually going to use. Going on Amazon and ordering, you know, a uh, uh, hundred pack of flies just without even knowing you know where they're tailored for it's a terrible idea if you're starting out because it's easy to buy a lot of flies without actually knowing what they do so again this is why i'm teaching night two of the accelerator workshop is that you don't want to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on flies when 90 percent of them are flies that a you probably don't need and b you don't even know why you have them you don't even know what they do right so spend the time and spend the money in a local specialty store okay and just tell them hey i'm brand new and here's what i need here's a list of or i don't even know what i need right now you could go off the deep end a little bit with this because it could be a matter of well you need this and this and this and this and this just you know if you could do a little bit of research drop us an email i'd be happy to give you a little checklist of this is what you're gonna need, rod, reel, line, leader, tippet, maybe if you're doing a lot of mover, moving water fishing, you know, waders, boots, but you can get started with the bare minimum. Now, the second thing I would say is to 
And, and the cool thing about this is that you're always accumulating. Unfortunately, it happens quite quickly sometimes. You're, you're always accumulating as time goes on, right? So it's not like you have to have every piece of equipment you could ever need right off the bat. All you really need is enough to get started, right? Enough to get going. And you're always, it's not like every fly shop trip has to be some, you know, it's not like you have to refinance your house after every trip to the to the fishing store. It's like you pick up a dozen flies here. Maybe you start tying flies. So you tie a dozen flies here. You tie another dozen flies here. You buy another dozen flies here. You pick up another fly line down the road or you get some as a gift. You get some gift cards. You don't have to have it all. You don't have to have it all at once. And I think that that's a really important thing to know is that the barrier to entry to get into fly fishing is actually quite low in comparison to a lot of other sports. The cool thing is you can go do it by yourself too, right? You don't have to like sign up for a year of like playing hockey, right? You don't have to sign up for a year. You can just go try it out. Okay, I like this, I don't like this. Uh, the second thing I would say is figure out your budget and at least invest a few hundred dollars, you know, two or three hundred dollars into learning. Okay, so this might be joining a club, this might be uh, casting instruction. God, I can't stress this enough. Hiring somebody who knows how to teach you how to cast is gonna save you so much money, and so much time, I mean, and so much frustration in the long run. You know, uh, I've guided people who've been fishing for over a decade and struggle to get the line 20, 30 feet from the boat, right? A 60 minute casting lesson can have you miles ahead of where you're gonna be trying to figure it out on your own. Okay, so invest, maybe another great one is a guided trip. It's gonna not only be an amazing experience that you're gonna remember for the rest of your life, but you're gonna learn so much in a guided trip. It's gonna just blow your mind. Now, I mean, moving into the digital age, uh, having been a, a course creator, that's largely what I do now is, is teach online fishing workshops or online courses. It's huge, right, because you can you can access knowledge from people for a very low price, right? I mean, it's not going to cost you very much to get into a, a membership or a course or an online workshop. Really, really worth your time and worth your money to invest in your own expertise, in your own knowledge, right? These things will carry you way further than trying to buy every piece of equipment on your first trip to the store. Okay, so I know this has been a bit long-winded answer, but unfortunately, there is no hard and fast guideline to is fly fishing expensive or not it just comes down to how that what that means to you what do, what how do you define that right but i would say there's no better time than now to get into fly fishing because you can get such great equipment and there's so much learning available on the internet i mean just join a facebook group it's free join a facebook group go on youtube type in how to fly fish how to cast how to tie this knot how to uh what's the difference between a dry fly and a wet fly uh, all these things, you know, it's, it's so incredibly accessible and fly fishing is growing at such an amazing rate right now. And it's just so incredibly inspiring to see so many people getting into the sport. So I hope that this makes sense. And I hope that this is a value to you. Remember you can join our free workshop. I'm so excited about it because it's just going to be a great, it's going to be a great time. And if, if you're in a similar situation as Michelle, you're like, Hey, I'm interested in fly fishing. I stumbled across this podcast or this YouTube video and I want to learn more, but I don't know, you know how far off the deep end I want to go. This is a great opportunity. So I will see you March 23rd, 24th, 25th. Okay. I will see you there. You can go to flyfishuniversity.com forward slash accelerator. And I just want to thank you for tuning in to this episode of Q&A Friday because one of my favorite times of the week is just being able to answer fly fishing questions and hopefully make fly fishing a better experience for as many people as possible. I think that we all have a reason why we're here and I think that that's my reason. So have a great rest of your weekend. I hope that you have a chance to get on the water and I will see you for next week's episodes. And more importantly, I will see you in the Fly Fishing Accelerator Workshop. Have a great weekend.